For the next two days, I'll be carrying this backpack with me up a volcano. I'm going to be hiking a dormant volcano here in beautiful Guatemala. It is Volcan Acatenango, but we will be looking out for Volcan Fuego to be erupting constantly. I am super excited to hike this track, hopefully meet some cool people and get some exercise in, and hopefully some beautiful views that I will show you guys soon. I am so hyped, you, you won't believe it. So before taking you through my experience summoning Volcano Acatenango and showing you the incredible views and epic explosions, I wanted to share a bit of background information first to help put this entire experience into perspective. Volcano Acatenango is located in southern Guatemala, about one hour away from the beautiful colonial town of Antigua. Volcano Acatenango sits at a whopping 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet above sea level, so summoning Acatenango is no easy feat due to the high altitude and steep climb. Many people, including myself, suffer from altitude sickness while summoning Acatenango, which is why many recommend spending a few days in Antigua beforehand, which sits at 1,500 meters or 5,000 feet above sea level. Although Volcano Acatenango is currently dormant, many people choose to summit this volcano in order to see the incredible views of its neighboring Volcan Fuego, which translates to Fire Volcano. Volcan Fuego is an active volcano that experiences constant eruptions throughout the day and night. I met tons of travelers who came all the way to Guatemala just to see Volcan Fuego up close. During the day, Volcan Fuego emits large gray clouds of smoke into the air, but at night is where the magic really happens. After the sun goes down, Volcan Fuego erupts bright red lava into the air. And these aren't small explosions, they are huge. So how do you get to Volcano Acatenango and what is the trek like? Well, the most common way to summit Acatenango is with a tour group from Antigua, Guatemala and to complete the trek in two days, which is exactly what I did. Even if you don't want to trek with a group, it's still required to hire and hike with a local guide for safety reasons. On the first day, we hiked about six hours straight up to our base camp for the night. To start off the hike, we walked up through the clouds, seeing only a few feet in front of us. After a few hours climbing up the volcano, we surpassed the clouds and got our first glimpse of the erupting that is volcano Fuego. Shortly thereafter, we arrived at our camp for the night and unpacked our bags in our tents, which laid on the edge of a cliff overlooking the clouds and of course, Volcano Fuego. Standing above the clouds, we got to see one of the best sunsets of my entire life. Watching the clouds slowly move across the volcanoes was like a scene out of a movie. After the sun went down, we did what any good camper would do. We made some dinner and sat around the fire, snuggled up in jackets and blankets. Being so high up and far away from any major city, the sky gets really dark at night, allowing for some absolutely jaw-dropping views of the erupting Volcano Fuego. I could continue talking about the views, but I think showing you them would help put this entire experience into perspective. So here it is. After a sleepless night with strong winds, loud explosions, and a shaky ground, we woke up at 3 a.m. to climb two more hours to the summit of Volcano Acatenango for sunrise. Watching the sunrise 13,000 feet high above the clouds was a serene experience. It was something I will truly never forget. After soaking up the morning sun, we began our five-hour descent down Volcano Acatenango back to civilization. Well, that was my experience summoning Volcano Acatenango. 
It was truly an incredible experience and something I would highly recommend you do if you visit Guatemala. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for weekly travel vlogs. Thanks so much again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.